Hi, I'm Dr. Laurent Bannock and I'm the Director of the Institute of Performance Nutrition. And in this Science to Practice overview, I'm going to be focusing on mechanisms of neuromuscular fatigue. So the duration that exercise can be maintained at decreases as the power requirements increase. And this is the basis of what is known as the power duration relationship. So to give you an example, a young healthy cyclist can attain maximum power of around 1000 watts and an elite cyclist up to maybe 2000 watts. But sustainable power, otherwise known as critical power, is only 25 to 35% of this. And this represents the power reached at approximately 70% of VO2 max. So the bioenergetic response to exercise varies depending on which intensity domain the task is actually being performed in. And for example, rate of oxygen utilization varies considerably between these domains. So in terms of oxygen kinetics and in these intensity domains, a plateau in VO2 is reached quickly in the moderate domain, whilst in the heavy domain it takes considerably longer and in a similar fashion um, at severe intensities. So the highly differing muscle metabolic and blood acid base profile seen at these different intensity domains tells us that it's likely that there are different mechanisms of fatigue in each of these domains. So at the moderate intensity domain, exercise can be sustained for hours. There is a switch towards fatty acids as the main substrate or muscle fuel. VO2 remains steady with small increases seen at prolonged duration. Maximum voluntary contraction MVC force decreases by around 25%. However, involuntary contraction force is unaffected. So the probable cause here is central fatigue. But at the heavy intensity domain, VO2 increases as does blood lactate due to muscle glycogen becoming the dominant substrate or fuel source. And MVC is reduced to 65 to 75% of max. And so fatigue here is due not only to the central factors we saw before, but also peripheral factors such as glycogen depletion that disturb excitation contraction coupling in the muscle. So the possible causes of fatigue in this situation are glycogen depletion, ATP depletion at the triad junction, but not total ATP uh, levels, and central fatigue. And at the severe intensity domain, VO2 increases to maximal, blood lactate is elevated, muscle pH declines and inorganic phosphate increases. And these factors equal reduced muscle fibre shortening velocity and impaired calcium handling. And this negatively affects force generation. Force phosphocreatine and pH reach their nadir and inorganic phosphate reaches its maximum at the point of task failure. So the probable causes in this domain are reduced muscle pH, impaired calcium handling, acute respiratory and or cardiovascular stress, and increased muscle inorganic phosphate. So what are the take home messages on this topic then? Well, firstly, the duration that exercise can be maintained at decreases as the power requirements increase. And this is the basis of this power duration relationship. The bioenergetic responses to each of the four intensity domains differ in terms of oxygen kinetics and mechanisms of fatigue. And so understanding the basic physiology of exercise at these varying intensities is crucial when prescribing training and dietary interventions. So I recommend you read uh, further on this topic and for an in-depth discussion, um, I recommend this paper on power duration relationship, physiology, fatigue and the limits of human performance by Mark Burnley and Andy Jones. I also recommend a podcast, although not specifically on this topic, it is related um, on monitoring training load and fatigue in athletes with Professor Craig Twist. And if you want to access those podcasts and indeed other videos in this science practice series, and if you want to learn about 
our online advanced level training and education programs in sport and exercise nutrition, just go to our website at www.theiopn.com. Um, and also you can uh, follow us on our social media channels at theiopn.com. And if you like this video, if you find it of value, please press uh, like in this YouTube section that you're watching this on. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Take care.